All right, sixth graders, let's get totally into our Ocean Guardian School Environmental Stewardship Project. Uh, so just so you know, on um, Google Classroom, you should see the Zombie Apocalypse Disease Pear Deck. I ended those sessions, shot you out your takeaway so you've got a document uh, with the work you did. Uh, yeah, I'm closing things up with Zombie Apocalypse so we can finish that and leave it behind. So make sure you do whatever you got to do quickly to get all the XP and gold from that one. But let's go into quests now, and let's go into the environmental stewardship, which is down here. And here's what most people have done by now. You've gone through the introduction, and you know a little bit about what we're doing. So I'm, I'm mixing in real life with uh, the story element to really get us uh, using our imagination and, and thinking creatively about the science we're doing. Because science mixed with creativity and imagination lead to new discoveries and, and things that people haven't thought of before. Because we've got new problems all the time. I mean, look at COVID. Brand new problem uh, that we need to solve really quickly as a human race. So water quality, we've got enough data that we're ready to start graphing, and that's going to come soon. Uh, but for this, right now, let that one be. Fish trapping, we're starting to get more data on, on this year's fish counts. Uh, so this one also, leave it for later. This one right here, project survey, is one I want everyone to get done right now. Um, this one is due Friday. I mean, you can always do it late because I need everyone to do it. Uh, so you've got your task here. You can click right on the Google form, sign in. Um, but I also like to open it in Google Classroom because then once you finish the survey, you can just mark it as done. And if you've done enough of these, you know by now that when you go back to uh, class craft, nothing's here. You have to close out of it, go back into it, go back to the task, and there's the task complete. Uh, that's going to leave you to the water quality vocab. You can start doing the quizzes to get familiar with all the stuff uh, we, we, we're going to be learning. This will give you a head start. You can use the mobile link if you're on a phone or a tablet, and the web link if you're on your computer. And some of you already started because uh, the assignment's on Google Classroom, so you already saw it. All right, now, these two go together, so you really want to start with water quality research because then you can get everything done at the same time. We can be efficient. And I know some of you already started this, and it's okay. You've got a head start, and that's great. So everyone is doing this in cohorts A, B, and C. You are learning your parameter. So go to the assignment and open up your document. This is your graphic organizer just to organize what you're learning about your water quality research. So you're gonna put your name there and then add the date for when you start this. So if you start it today, it's November 18th, 2020. All right, so good, you keep that open, and then you're good to go with this one. This is where it gets uh, uh, more detailed. You go into the parameters, and there's a document here that lets you know your parameter. Now, cohorts A and B, you've been collecting data on your parameter with your lab quest and the actual probe, so you know yours. But when you get into cohort C, you guys need to know what you're going to focus on. So the one that's next to your name, uh, so Trent, Jack, and Arissa, you're doing dissolved oxygen. Charlie, Drake, and Izzy doing temperature. This tells you which one to become a total expert in because that's the one you're going to teach to everyone else in your cohort. You're going to create some awesome uh, uh, way of sharing it with the rest of your cohort. So that's what parameter is all about. This just tells you which one to do. So you want to know what your parameter is 
and then click task complete. Now, this is where it gets overwhelming. You're like, ah, look at all those. Slow down. You have one that you're responsible for. So let's say I'm temperature. I'm just going to go to temperature. I'm going to wait till I get taught the other ones. Now, truth be told, if you want to learn them all, do it. There's nothing stopping you. But if you got so much other work that you only have time for one, focus on yours. So you've got two links here to websites that you want to uh, read. Those are the ones I use to teach these parameters. So you've got stream temperature here and water temperature for temperature people. Those are the ones you're going to use to answer these questions. You're going to answer those questions here. Now notice on this one it says, what is the parameter? Uh, you just pick yours. So if yours is temperature, you're going to write temperature. And then you're going to uh, write a complete description of it explaining what it means. So you're going to explain it in everyday terms, how hot or cold water is, and then include a scientific uh, definition. It includes kinetic energy and movement of molecules. It gets really cool. Uh, so that's how you use that. But in the task, you also have an ed puzzle. So when you open your ed puzzle, everyone's going to go through and learn from me like you were in class learning from me. And you get questions along the way to help you focus. Uh, this is great because it's going to help you learn to fill in this graphic organizer. So how does your parameter affect the water quality of Chimicum Creek? Temperature people, you're going to explain what warm water temperature does to our creek and what colder water does. You're going to explain how it's measured. You know, temperature Fahrenheit and Celsius. What levels are good, acceptable, or bad? You'll find that out either by watching the video and learning from me and or reading the two websites I linked there. Um, so that's how you do this. Uh, once you get done with that, doing your ed puzzle and filling this out, turn it in so I can check it. You'll be able to complete those two, like temperature and water quality research, and that'll let me know you're ready to move on because pretty soon, maybe later today, I'm going to add a graphing assignment to show you how to graph the data we already have uh, and, and something on Watershed that we're going to do in class and Cohort C you get to do at home the way we're going to do it in class. So this is going to get you started if you haven't already and for those of you who've started, this is going to make sure you, you're doing exactly what you're supposed to. Um, and like I said, more assignments are coming after project survey. So you have to complete project survey to unlock what's coming up later this afternoon. All right, if you have any questions, message me on Classcraft and good luck starting this quest and learning so much about how to take care of our creek and how to be environmental stewards.